Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is yours. For thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has gotten him the victory. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people will he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. So when this corruptible will have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then will be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. Oh my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. By this I know that you favor me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks to your holy name and to triumph in your praise. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and makes manifest the aroma of his knowledge by us in every place. God is my strength and power, and he makes my way perfect. Thine, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of you, and you reign over all, and in your hand is power and might. And in your hand is to make great and to give strength to all. You divide the sea with your power, and by his understanding, he smites through the proud. Behold, God exalts by his power. Who teaches like him? Be thou exalted, Lord, in your own strength, so we will sing and praise your power. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he will receive me. Selah. But I will sing of your power. Yes, 
I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning, for you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God. To see your power and your glory, so as I have seen you in the sanctuary. Say to God, how awesome are you in your works. Through the greatness of your power, shall your enemies submit themselves unto you. He rules by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Say, O oh God, you are awesome out of your holy places. The God of Israel is he that gives strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. He has shown his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. Great is our Lord, and of great power, his understanding is infinite. 